We just got back from Malacca. Watching movies that Visa have seen at least a thousand times. I can't get enough of this movie. I started thinking about my old friend Sam that I met in 2008 during my first time backpacking in Malaysia. At that time, Sam was the owner of the Jalan Jalan guest house. We became friends and always kept in touch. Last time when we went to Malacca, just after the first lockdown, Malacca suffered terribly and most of the shops were closed. As we love exploring new places in Malaysia, it was time for us to go back to Malacca and to see from our own eyes if things have finally got back to normal. The only challenge is that we had only one day to see it all. And as always, Visa made a huge list of all the stuff that we must see during our visit in Malacca. So without any plans, we packed our bags and hit the road. We drove yesterday from Kuala Lumpur to Malacca, it's about 140 kilometers. If you have never been to Malacca, it's located south Kuala Lumpur. It's one of the 13 states of Malaysia and it's also way smaller and quieter than Kuala Lumpur. We woke up at 7.30, I did my morning workout routine and got ready to explore the city. And as always, before we start anything, coffee is the first one on the list. Easy road. So this is one of the most famous streets in uh, Malacca. It's called Janka Street. It's like Chinatown. It's like Chinatown in Kuala Lumpur. Huh? Malacca. Malacca. Ah, it's yeah. like Chinatown in Kuala Lumpur. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So before we do anything in Malacca, we need to find a coffee and breakfast. So we have no idea where to go, so we're just gonna walk around and trying to find coffee. Disappointed with their coffee and chocolate, too small. <laughs> so our plan was to show you around Janka Street, and it's 10 o'clock and everything's still closed. Oh, I found this uh, shop. Look around, it's beautiful. I would like to have one. <laughs> sugar where I bought this one you see this one they make with this quite sweet 
but you, you can't eat every day. But this is like candy, but very cultures um, in Malacca. Okay, let me try. Durian is a uh, Malaysian. Mostly you can find in Thailand, Indonesia, in Asia country. The smelly fruit. Uh, what uh, European mostly they thought is a uh, smell of like fat, but to me no, they are yum. Okay, here you go. So while googling, we were trying to find a, a place for um, for lunch, and we found this little cafe called uh, Calante Art Cafe. Calante Art Cafe. They have pretty good reviews, so we decided to give it a go. spicy food my stomach don't like it but I love it <laughs> and for the drinks for the drinks I ordered let me check it's got a healthy red juice and it's beetroot orange carrots and lemon I've asked for a fork and spoon because I'm not really used to it with chopstick. So, of course, at the end of my meal, I need my coffee. This is the coffee over here that they serve. And this one, it's called the Quarantan Coffee. Ouch! Quarantan Coffee. They have 13 different kind of coffee over here. 13, 13 different states in Malaysia. And uh, Quarantan is one of the states in Malaysia. The, um, the owner of the, the coffee shop, as I said before, is a coffee addict. And it's what he has done. He's been to all the states all around Malaysia to find the best coffee and bring it back to Malacca. So the total cost of our meals was about 80 ringgit, including the service charge. And we must say that we are pretty happy with the food. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Highly recommended. So if you ever come to Malacca, do not miss Kalante Art Cafe. It's really good. Our stomach is pretty full, so we're gonna wait a little bit before to have dessert or to have a chandol. I really want to have chandol. And now I think it's time for me to get a haircut. My hair looks monkey horrible. Look at this monkey hair. Monkey hair, horrible. So it will be a good uh, opportunity for me to, to cut my hair. My hair is, 
extremely messy. But Gary, you need to take care of me. <laughs> uh, it would be nice to shave a little bit on the on the side, but to keep it long on the top and to put uh, the hair back after you have a free card, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Maybe shave the beard a little bit. I mean, uh, 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 yeah, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so when did you open here? 2019. 2019? Yeah. Here. Uh, so before, where were you? Before? Oh, yes. Uh, from uh, Riverside. 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 Yeah. Riverside. Yeah. So Riverside was in 2015. 16. All right. <laughs> All right guys, so this is the uh, resort. So if you ever come to Malacca and you want a haircut, you have to come to your uh, right uh, Karen? Karen, Karen, yeah, at the Barber Pool. Just waiting for air cuts and now it's raining. That's the front part of being in Malaysia. Soaking wet now. <laughs> so we were supposing actually to do a um, few other things today. We wanted to go Shandol and to go to Trickshaw and the, the um, river yeah, cruise. And Rupert and, and I, but it's not enough time in one day to, to do everything. So we're gonna have to go back to, um, to Malaga and to, to shoot all this kind of uh, video and show it to you. But we hope that you have enjoyed this little video with us guys and if you have not subscribed yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell bye bye